Introduction Hi friends, how are you? When we are held up in a traffic jam, how do we feel? Absolutely right. We feel suffocated and exhausted due to heavy smoke and noise of horns. We can define pollution as the presence of unwanted substances in air, soil and water. Now let's discuss in detail about pollution and its types. Objectives At the end of this course, you will be able to Describe different types of pollution Explain air pollution, its effects and also ways and means of controlling it Describe water pollution, its effects and ways and means of controlling it Explain noise pollution and soil pollution Friends, as we all know that air and water mainly supports life on the earth. But now these two are getting dirty day by day. As a result, there is no fresh air to breathe and clean water to drink. So let us discuss in detail different kinds of pollution. Actually, pollution is mainly of three types. Air pollution, water pollution and noise pollution. At first, let's know about the air pollution in detail. Air gets polluted when the unwanted substances, air pollutants, enter in it. But the question is, how these substances enter into the air? These substances, air pollutants, come due to burning of fuels, emission of poisonous gases from industries. This polluted air mixes with clouds in the atmosphere and brings harmful rain. This rain is also known as acid rain. Acid rain damages our buildings and monuments. Besides it, the large amount of carbon dioxide in air increases the global temperatures, which subsequently result in the melting of glaciers. It adversely affects our lungs and we suffer from respiratory disorders. Now the question is how we can control air pollution. There are many things that we can do to control air pollution. It can be controlled by using clean fuels, CNG, in vehicles and industries, planting of new young plants, preferring walking over driving, using public transport for transportation. Now let's know about the water pollution. Like air, water also gets polluted. Look at this river. It is very dirty. It receives sewage from the homes and wastes from the factories. Some people also wash their clothes and throw waste in it. We should not drink this water as it contains germs and may result in diseases. What are its effects? Poisonous chemicals released from factories and industries enter the water bodies due to which marine life is getting affected. If we consume such fishes, we will also fall ill. Can we control water pollution? The answer is yes. To control water pollution, we should not dispose garbage and harmful chemicals directly into ponds, lakes and rivers. Friends, did you ever get annoyed by large music systems in parties, long traffic jams and loud voice of your parents? Then how do you feel? This unwanted sound created by human activities is called noise pollution. Are you aware of this fact that noise pollution can cause hearing loss as well as heart problems? So we should try to make less noise. Friends, just think what happens if we dump garbage into the soil. Yes, absolutely right. It gets polluted. The low quality of the soil is called soil pollution. 
dumping things like fruits, vegetable peels and papers get mixed with the soil but plastic objects do not. It makes the soil infertile. Well, to reduce soil pollution, we should stop littering. Summary Now friends, let's know what we have learnt. Pollution is mainly of three types. Air pollution, water pollution and noise pollution. Air and water gets polluted by the unwanted substances, pollutants present in it. Sewage from the homes and wastes from the factories are the main sources of water pollution. Polluted air and water have adverse effect upon human and animal health. To control water pollution, we should not dispose garbage and harmful chemicals directly into ponds, lakes and rivers. The unwanted sound created by human beings is called noise pollution. It is caused due to blowing of horns, using of loudspeakers, etc. The spoilage of soil's quality is called soil pollution.